Hey everybody, how's it going? Okay, it is time for that pickups video I've been telling you guys about. Uh, I finally decided it's been sitting here for too long. I have to open these things up and check them out. So I know there's some t-shirts in here that are really, really cool. Super looking forward to seeing them. Um, and nobody I know got one of the ones in particular. So I'm extra anxious to see that one because I haven't seen any reviews on it. But there are some t-shirts that I ordered a long time ago that are still not here that I know a lot of other folks have already got. And I only got recent news that they just shipped. So it's a little crazy because we're, we're right after the Calgary Horror Con. And uh, yeah, a lot of the stuff still isn't here, but some stuff is. And uh, it's been here for quite some time actually. So I wanted to go over that with you guys. Some cool pickups plus a uh, scream prop or two as well I want to show you. So let's get into it. All right, so the first package up is from Cavity Colors. Note the bright green, you know it's Cavity Colors. However, in this case, I think with this tape and everything that's on it, it looks like Customs got a hold of this and was probably quite concerned over all the, you know, various paraphernalia and clearly some kind of drugs I must be smuggling, which is why they have to open my t-shirts and make sure. <laughs> Very annoying. Um, this is a t-shirt. This is a buy or die special that they put on. Now buy or die is Cavity Colors, uh, sort of their little slogan for their temporary sale shirts that are only for sale for a few days or a certain amount of hours. You know, like others are get it or regret it, I think is gutter garbs. And here is the design by Mr. Devin Whitehead. It is an XL and it looks awesome. Oh, that looks awesome. Okay, take a look at this. Just a gorgeous Freddy versus Jason design. I think the characters look so good. Look like they're pulled right out of the movie. Like, I swear, nobody does art like Devin Whitehead. The guy is so talented. Just amazing designs. Always from Devin Whitehead. Or Devon, I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. I'm really not sure how he says it. That is an incredible looking design. Okay, so moving on to the next package. Standard white, nothing fancy. Gutter garbs in here. And uh, honestly, they don't need the fancy bags. I think they're cool. I'm a big fan of Terror Threads Orange and Fright Rags Black with their uh, cool printing. Very cool. So of course, they're in the little bags. Gotta pull them out of those. XL, perfect. That's my size. So this first one is a design that is clearly Sam Hain 1992, that's Sam Coyne. He has done a ton of these designs and this one is so cool. No exception, it looks awesome like the others. This is the part seven version, Friday the 13th, part seven, the new blood. Awesome looking t-shirt. Love this shirt. It really reminds me of the first three that were released as sort of a set that I've showed you guys before. Really similar, kind of the way it's done. Love the shot of Kane on fire right in the middle. Young Tina on the boat and then Tina with the eye. That's kind of neat. But then in the background you see that kick-ass rotary pull start saw that Jason used on the doctor um, as a background. I think that looks really, really cool. And then of course the mask splitting in two pieces right at the top. It is an awesome, awesome t-shirt. And I have no hate for part seven. You know, I know the whole telekinesis thing is uh, a real stretch. And I must say I wasn't a huge fan and I hated how badly they just well, as the director said, they raped his movie, you know what I mean? Um, it was like 
no blood in the whole movie. I remember that about it. The new blood, it was like, it should be called the no blood. They edited the hell out of it. Anyway, I don't mind part seven. It's really, it's not that bad. I mean, if you get past the whole telekinesis thing, it's still scary looking Jason in the woods, stalking the younger kids. And I don't know, it's a good time. <laughs> okay, now this next one, I have been more excited about than any other t-shirt I can think of for a very long time. And that's because this is one that is special for me. I've always loved this movie. I watched the shit out of it as a kid so many times over. Um, and it's got, you know, it's my guilty pleasure movie. And that is Creepshow 2. Look at this t-shirt. Oh. Check that out. Just an absolutely awesome design, once again by the amazingly talented Sam Coyne. That's Sam Hain, 1992 on Instagram. If you want to check out his stuff, he did this. And I mean, you have Old Chief Woodenhead here. You have the Hitchhiker, and of course the Raft. The three main stories from Creepshow 2. Tom Savini smack dab in the center as the uh, the creep himself who is delivering the new editions of Creepshow right at the beginning of the film. But I really, really love this movie. You know, it's just one, like I said, I've watched it so many times as a kid, and I just I just adore those stories. They're so fun, and all the, the back and forth dialogue between the characters, you know, Sam White Moon going off on on how, uh, how awesome he is, the ultimate narcissistic, chauvinist fellow he was <laughs> uh yeah it's just it's such a fun movie but uh, i absolutely love this t-shirt i think it looks amazing um i only have one other creep show 2 t-shirt and it is so cool i rarely wear it because it is starting to show some wear i got it in about 2017 2018 right around there and uh it's one of my oldest it's one of the first ones that I think I got from Fright Rags uh, back in the day when I realized they existed because I had no idea before probably 2017-ish that they were even a company or even offered any cool shirts like these. Or, of course, in this case, it's gutter garbs or cavity colors like the one before that. I just mean in general, I didn't know there were all these awesome companies that are dedicated to... Uh, these kind of movies and they seek licensing and make really quality shirts so yes this is a really really nice design and I'm looking forward to wearing this a few times here and there and then probably being scared I'm gonna wear it out and it will be in my closet to admire and to only bring out on very special occasions <laughs> all right so creep show two gutter garbs okay so now as I promised before I was going to be showing you some scream props or a prop because I was expecting some to uh, to come in. I say some as in there was more than one particular item uh, that I was looking to pick up. And in this case, one of the items showed up before um, expected. To be honest, I I figured. The other one would come before this one but so anyway one of these props did show up uh picked it up off the doorstep and it looked like this <laughs> so pretty pretty crushed i took a few pictures um, and clearly customs got a hold of it again because they had to open it up and they used some nice black tape to seal it again just on either side like this one little strip and it would just open so that's nice that's how it was. Pretty awesome. So luckily I didn't have anything in here that was going to uh, necessarily break, but it definitely got a bit of a rough ride in here. So let me show you. So inside, it's just a box now, inside we have a bag with an item inside. And this is the particular item right here. And I must say, I was a little surprised when I saw this. Here is a look. So as you can see, 
This is a hand-painted ghost face mask that has been made to look like the Billy mask from Scream 6. So the paint job pretty closely matches what it looked like. Um, I think it's a little on the dark side. And I don't mean like, you know, and I'm just saying that I think the mask looked a little bit darker than I was expecting when you're, when you compare it to like this, that Gen 1 in the background there. And that's a glow in the dark white. So it's not like a super bright white. It's kind of a softer white. And this has such a different contrast. It almost looks like chocolatey colored, right? Um, so I thought it was a little bit on the dark side. Didn't, it wasn't really a big deal. I thought it looked pretty cool, but this looks a lot more like an ultra white to me. <laughs> and this is supposed to be a 25th anniversary sparkle hood without these tassels <laughs> or all these crazy little scuff marks all over it. So um, a little disappointing to say the least. This is by a fellow who goes by the name of Graham Cooper. He's from the UK and uh, he sells these in his Etsy store. And uh, yeah, turns out there was a mix up. So he was really, really good about it. And I should, I should say, I let him know, you know, the situation and the, you know, the box was all crushed. And I showed it to him before I had even opened it. And then I opened it and was shocked to see that it's, you know, it's not a 25th anniversary like we talked about. It has these tassels, it's a poly hood, it's, all, you know, it's an ultra white mask. It's not a 25th anniversary mask because I wanted something that looked more like something out of the Scream 6 movie. So that was going to be a bit of a surprise, but... You were probably getting to that with, you know, me picking up the um, the boots, the Doc Martin boots from Scream 6. I was going to certainly try to get a hold of uh, uh, a nice looking Billy style mask from someone that I thought, you know, would do a decent job. So um, I wasn't planning on doing the robe. Like I'm not gonna go all out crazy like that. I mean, I might someday, but because robes are a little on the expensive side and I know I could pull off the original anyway, worst case, um, that's a pretty good worst case. Still looks pretty awesome. Anyway, when I spoke with Graham, he um, explained that this was a mix up, that obviously my mask went to somebody else and vice versa. So uh, he gave me a few options and ultimately he is going to be making me a new 25th anniversary version of this mask to send. Um, with the specs a teeny bit different, I asked if he maybe didn't make it quite as dark, you know, because I, I just thought it would look better if it was just slightly lighter shade. Like, don't get me wrong, I know it's supposed to look darker. I feel like this looks almost just a little too you know, a little too chocolatey. But uh, yeah, I think it's gonna look great, you know, and he was really cool about it, so he offered to do it up, and uh, he's gonna send it out to me when he gets a chance. I told him not to rush again, you know, like uh, I want him to do, you know, nice, nice job on it, so take your time and do what you gotta do, and thank you for making it right, you know. So it's a, one of those situations where there is a mix-up, something goes sideways, and in this case, He's a great seller and he keeps good communication and, um, you know, he's making it right. So, I mean, what more could you ask for out of a good seller? So, highly recommend dealing with him and I'm looking forward to showing you the version he makes uh, with the 25th anniversary mold and, of course, the hood with no tassels or anything high, uh, hanging down. I think it's going to look kind of cool. So, looking forward to showing you guys that. Okay, and regarding the other Scream prop that I was telling you guys about, this is something that I sort of thought of a little while ago, and uh, it recently occurred to me where this thing was, because this is something that was already in my possession that I'm going to use for the Scream 6 cosplay. See, a few years back, well, several years back, actually, uh, I, my son wanted this really cool uh, toy plastic shotgun okay and it's a uh, pump style I think we got it from Cabela's so it looks pretty legit you know and it's a lot like the shotgun from the film 
only it's a little lighter and stuff. Of course, I'd have to darken it, but I tracked it down and here it is right here. Check that out. It's got the red tip, of course, showing you it is only plastic. It is definitely plastic, you know, cheap stuff, but looks pretty legit. Pumps and has a, a sound effect. Cool, huh? So this will work wonderful for, um, you know, con safe items at a, uh, you know, at a horror convention or even at an expo or something. So uh, what I plan on doing with this is just to darken it a bit. You know, I, when I first saw the movie, I thought, oh, the shotgun's black. And then I watched it again and I was like, oh, it's not black at all. These parts actually are brown. They're just a much darker brown, almost a charcoal looking color. So I plan on painting this, like I'll sand it down a little bit, you know, scuff it up so the paint will stick better and, and use a uh, sort of a softer color black on it, I think. But uh, I haven't decided just yet how I'm going to do it, but that is the plan, is just to darken this stuff up. So I might, uh, I might get on that sooner than later, but I thought that was really cool. Handy, right in my possession. It's a good size too, it's not bad. It's not like it's ridiculously small, you know? So I thought that's cool. I have a prop in my house that will work for the um, Ghost Face and Scream 6. So that should look pretty decent. You know, you got this going on and ooh. yeah, so that's not bad. Toy gun, again, like I said, it's just plastic. You can hear the little spring. It actually used to load these little plastic shells in there and everything too. And when you'd go like this, it would just kick them out the side and still just, just do that, right? They don't, it's never shot anything. It's, it's plugged. Nothing actually comes out of it, but yeah, not a real gun at all. Just a toy. But uh, this would be a great prop for the Ghostface Scream 6 costumes. So I plan on taking advantage of that and uh, yeah, working on that little sweet gem that I think will be a nice addition to the cosplay. All right, well, that'll pretty much do it for the pickups for now. I know I have some more stuff coming. Uh, I actually have a notice in the mail. They have a package in, so I'm not really sure what that is just yet. But I'm sure it's going to go on my pile and we'll go into the next round of pickups at a later date. But uh, that is it for now, you guys. So we will see you again for another video real soon. Uh, I am still working on some other stuff, as you know. So uh, we will see you real soon. You guys take care and thanks again for watching.